Hello, class. Good evening. Hello, guys. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. How are you, Diana? I'm good, and you? Very good. So we're going to start in a moment. I have a troll. Tenía un problemita por ahí, chicos, pero ya vamos a iniciar. No sé por qué no me cargaba en mi Zoom. Tengo que hacer otro proceso. Estamos acá. Sí, hello, eh, Carlos, Miguel, Clelia, hello, Fernando, and Oscar, hello, guys. Hello, teacher, good evening. Good hello, evening. teacher, good evening, good evening. Hello, hello, welcome, guys. So, why is your camera off? I cannot see you, guys. Excellent, Oscar. Soy de reverde. Bien. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Why? Ah. What happened? Ah, para ver qué se ver qué se siente. <laughs> para ver qué se siente se rebelde. <laughs> okay. Well, welcome guys. So it's a pleasure to have you here again and today is February the 7th. So we're going to have um, well, some well, a lot of activities. Let's start. And we have our agenda for today, warming up, class objective, um, pre-task, the vocabulary that we check as usual, task preparation, we're going to check some exercises, and we're going to have a role play at the end, a conversation, a wrap-up, and the assignment, okay? So now let's start, guys. So the instructions for the first activity, um, like this. Okay, here, instructions, look at this. We're going to work in pairs. We're going to match the conversation with the right answers. And we're going to practice that conversation. And later on, we're going to share that with the class. So um, just let me open that, mm, okay. We're going to do the match together and later on, you're going to do that in pairs. So you're going to uh, work with a classmate. So how was your day, guys? How was your day? Good? Sad? Extremely tired? Oh. Very good. It's a good day. Hold on, hold on. I haven't heard the rest. Let's see. Okay. So I think I'm going to wait for some of your classmates but uh, we're gonna start probably to join later okay so look at this we have the following uh, well we have some parts of the conversation in here and we have to use would so we have some questions for example what would they like for dinner what would you like and what would he like to drink what, would you like some soda? And would you like some ice cream? And we have some uh, answers for these questions. So we have to match this. Um, I think I'm going to send you the link so you can do that with me. So hello, lo puedo realizar. Because later on, you're going to work on that. So you're going to practice that conversation. Okay. So there you have it. Okay, please. I would like some ice. He'd like some rice and he would like some soda. The one, what will you like? Okay, question number one. Can you read that, please, Oscar? The color purple. Uh, this one, number one. Sky, uh huh. This one, sky. Uh, yes, 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 please. I would like some ice cream. Would like uh, some ice cream. Oh, okay. Very good. Would you like some ice cream? 
Let's see. Uh, question number two. So what's the question for this answer? They like some rice and beans for dinner. Guys, Veronica. Okay. okay. <laughs> Come on, you go ahead. Tell us. So what do you think, Oscar? No, no, que participó, pero yo ya sé. <laughs> I already know. Veronica Burgos, she's here. Veronica. Veronica. So, Veronica. Is... No. okay, can you read the question for this answer? They like some rice and beans for dinner. So, what do you think? So, what could be the best option for that answer? You have four options. Okay. <clears throat> what would you like? Okay, what would you like? Ah, for the theory. Ah, sorry, but for the like some rice. Like what for would dinner. they like for dinner? They like some rice and beans for dinner. Okay, very good. Let's see. Let's continue with the next one. Can you help us with that one? Miguel, what do you think, Miguel? Question three. I like a sandwich, please. What would you like? What would you like? Okay, what would you like? What would you like? I like a sandwich, please. Okay, let's see. Question four for the answer. He would like some water. So what is the question? What would he, what like, would to he like to drink? To drink? Awesome, very good. And the last one. Can you read that one, please? Uh, let's see, Miguel. Uh -huh. Would you like some soda? Yes, please, I would like some soda. Awesome. Okay, so let's check that. So, and that's correct, right? Okay, very good. So right now we're going to check back again, we're going to show the answers. And, and you're going to practice the conversation in pairs, but first we're going to practice a little bit the pronunciation, okay? And remember, uh, one important thing that I want you to keep in mind is that you have to organize or rearrange the, uh, the questions. For example, uh, what would you like? I like a sandwich, please. So try to uh, rearrange that conversation, okay? So let's practice. Question one, would you like some ice cream? Would you like some ice cream? Remember, would, right? Would. Would, would you like some ice cream? Yes, please. I would like some ice cream. What would you, next question, what would they like for dinner? What would they like for dinner? They'd, they'd like some rice and beans for dinner. What would you like? What would you like? I like a sandwich, please. I like, I, I. I'd like a sandwich, please. What would he like to drink? He would like some water. He would like some water. Would you like some soda? Yes, please. I would like some soda. Okay, let's see. Um, Veronica and Oscar, please read the question. Veronica, you read the question and uh, Oscar, you read the answer. Okay. Wow. Would, would you like some ice cream? Yes, please. I would like some ice cream. What would you, they like for dinner? They like some rice and beans for dinner. What would you like? I like a sandwich, please. What would he like to drink? He would like some water. Would you like some soda? Yes, please. I would like some soda. Okay, very good, guys. So now uh, let's repeat that once more and then you go to the breakout rooms, okay? Would you like some ice cream? Would you like some ice cream? Would you like some ice cream? Yes, please. I would like some ice cream. What would they like for dinner? What would they like for dinner? They like some rice and beans for dinner. What would you like? What would you like? I like a sandwich, please. What would he like to drink? He would like some water. Water. Would you like some soda? 
Yes, please. I would like some soda. Okay, so we're going to practice uh, for uh, some minutes in the breakout rooms. So please uh, try to role play that, okay? And uh, get a screenshot. Got it, guys? Okay, so join the breakout room. So we're gonna have uh, some minutes. Dice que el, el profe que teníamos antes grababa en el chat la pronunciación correcta. Ya cuando nosotros nos íbamos a las salas a practicar, si teníamos dudas, lo corríamos a ver si te estábamos pronunciando bien. Y nos, nos ayudó bastante con la pronunciación esa. ¿Cómo, cómo así? Así como ahorita que usted lo estaba leyendo, eh, él lo dictaba al audio, hacía un un audio y ya lo dejaba en el chat y nosotros ahí cuando teníamos dudas de cómo se decía la, la fila número 5 lo, lo, lo poníamos y entonces ya practicábamos y lo corregíamos y lo estábamos diciendo mal mm, ok ok, uh, I'm going to try with that ajá, para la próxima aquí estábamos <ríe> ok, ok, thank you Oscar okay. Ok, ahorita le vamos a asignar nuevamente. Okay, Blanca Luz. Eh, Blanca, ya le envié la invitación. Hola, hola Blanca, a esto tiene desactivado el micrófono. Aún no tengo mis, pero estoy escuchando. Ah, ok. De acuerdo. Vamos a poner el oyente. Muchas gracias. Por eso. Ok, sigamos sí. entonces. Le pregunto y se contesta o al revés. No, 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 no tranquila. Eh, hagámoslo rápido entonces, como ya lo habíamos rápido. hecho. ¿no? Ok. Démosle. Pregunto. Ok. ¿Would you like some ice cream? Yes, please. I would like some ice cream. What would they like for dinner? They, they like some rice and beans for dinner. What would you like? I'd like a sandwich, please. What would he like to drink? We would like some water. Would you like some soda? 
Yes, please. I would like some soda. Okay, hey, pregúntame tú, please. Uh, would you like some ice cream? Yes, please. I would like some ice cream. What do they like for dinner? They like some rice and beans for dinner. What would you like? I'd like a sandwich, please. What What would he... No, you said yes, yeah. What would she like to dinner? He would like some water. Would you like some salt? Hello, hello, hey guys. Diana. Hello. Um, Jorge is traveling and lady not yet here. Todavía no hay nadie aquí con usted, ¿verdad? Yo estoy en solo estoy escuchando. Ok, ¿Lady? ¿Todavía no? Sí, Miss, sí, Miss, estuvimos practicando con ella, pero me dijo que habían dos más y como estoy del teléfono no me había fijado. Entonces iban a los otros a compartir. Ah, oh, sí, es que, es que, bueno, son de oyentes, todavía no han llegado. Pero si ya terminó. Ah, no están de oyentes. Uh -huh. Ah, entonces si gusta, Lady, continuamos nosotros. Okay. Vaya, está bien. Vaya. Sí. Compañeras, quiero practicar yo con ustedes. Ambas. Vaya, entonces... sí, que se estábamos esperando. Sí, perdón, es que si estoy gusta, en teléfono. Yo también, y no me había fijado que estaban ahí dos más, entonces por eso no, no había... Pero si gusta, practique con Diana ahorita. Vaya, está bien. Ok, Vaya, entonces, eh, ¿pregunta usted o, o yo? Vaya, si gusta, pregunto yo. Vaya, está bien. Would you like some ice cream? Yes, please. I would like some ice cream. What would they like for dinner? They like some rice and beans for dinner. Dinner. What would, <laughs> what would you like? I'd like a sandwich, please. What would he like to drink? He would like some water. Would you like some soda? Yes, please. I would like. Um, soda. Si quieres lo hacemos a la inversa ahora. Vaya, yo pregunto entonces. Uh -huh. Would you like some ice cream? Yes. Yes, please. I would like some ice cream. What would they like for dinner? They like some rice and beans for dinner. What would you like? I'd like a sandwich, please. What would he like to drink? He would like some water. Would you like some soda? Yes, please. I would like some soda. Okay. Hello guys, welcome back. So we're going to continue with the activities that we have. And look at this, we have the previous uh, knowledge activity. In the session uh, that we started yesterday, we talked about wood, right? So we're going to try to find out some answers for these questions. Look at this, question one. What would you like to do in the future? So if you remember, we were using wood in order to talk about the future, right? 
So what would you like to do in the future? Let's see, one by one. I think you have this idea here. So what would you like to do in the future? Guys, Luz, Blanca Luz. So what would you like? Example, I would like to travel. So what would you like to do in the future? Uh, Marlena? Activate your microphone, Anna, Anna Marlene. So what would you like to do in the future? What is she? Oh. Okay. Hello? hello, hello. Are you going home? Yes. Todavía va para la casita? Yes, now, teacher. Okay, okay, si no después, entonces estamos en Okay. Okay, um, let's see, Blanca. Blanca, uh, activate your microphone. Blanca, Luz, uh, what would you like to do in the future, Blanca? I would like to uh, engineer. Okay, to be an engineer. Yes, to be yes. an engineer. Okay, awesome, very good. Uh, Miguel, tell us, Miguel. Blanca, ask the question for Miguel. Okay, Miguel, what would you like to do in the future? Um, I would like to speak English. Okay, I would like to speak English. Okay, very good. Continue with the question, Miguel. Ask um, a classmate, Miguel. Okay, um, lady, what would you like? To do in the future? I would like to, to cook perfect. <laughs> so you would like to cook? Oh, okay. To cook. <laughs> like to cook perfectly. Okay. Uh, continue, lady, with the question as a classmate. So, what he or she would like to do in the future? Nilton, what would you like to do in the future? I would like to buy a, a bot. Comprar un bote. Ah, oh, okay. Very good. Continue, Nilton, with the question. So you invite us when you get the boat so we can go on the boat with you. <laughs> <laughs> Nilton, uh, continue with the question. Ask a classmate. Okay. Uh, Rafael. Okay. Rafael, what would you like to do in the future? Uh, I would like uh, to new car. Okay. To buy or get. Okay. To buy a new. To buy a new car. Okay, very good. Rafael, continue with the question. Ask a classmate. Uh, what, uh, Veronica Elizabeth, what, what would you like to do in the future? future? The silent. Veronica Burgos, I think, right? Activate it. Uh, yes, the microphone. Let me check. Okay. I would like to be a grandmother. Oh, okay, so you would like to be a, gran a granny. Okay. <laughs> yes. A granny. Okay, yeah, continue, Elizabeth. As a classmate. Okay. Um, let's see. Blanca Luz. Um, let's see. Somebody else. She already answered it. Somebody else. Okay. Yeah. Oscar. Ana Marlene. Ana Marlene. Yes. She's. No, she's not yet at home. Okay. Clelia. Clelia, okay, Clelia. Okay. 
Clelia, what would you like to do in the future? I would like change job. To change job. Oh, okay, so you would like to change. Okay. To change uh, your job or get a new job. Okay, very good, guys. So now let's continue. Second question, guys. Look at this. Second question. What will you do if you were rich? So what will you do if you were rich? I would, for example, I'm going to erase this part. I would uh, buy, um, let's say, a Hilux. <laughs> so I would buy a Hilux if I were rich. Si yo fuera rica, compraría una Hilux. Okay, how about you guys? Let's see. Uh huh. ¿Qué harías si tú fueras rico? Uh, I will buy a Hilux. How about you, Veronica? If I if I have some money, I will I will uh travel around the world. Okay, I will travel around the world. Good, continue, uh, Veronica, ask the question to a classmate. Okay, um, let's see, Rafael. What would, do, what would you do if you were rich? I would, I would, um, I would buy, um, Um, a new home. Okay, a new house. house. A new house. Okay. How about continue, Rafael? Uh, select a classmate. It's okay. Uh, or a mansion, probably. Oscar Rene, what would you do if you were? Rich. Always cultivate good health. Uh, can you repeat it, Oscar? I would. I would. I would always cultivate good health. Grow. Uh huh. <laughs> Excuse me. Always cultivate. Good health. Okay, grow fruits or plant fruits. Okay. We'll grow fruits. Mm -hmm. So it means no, no. cultivate. Cultivar, yes. Cultivar, okay. cultivar siempre una buena salud. Oh, I thought you said fruits. <laughs> All the okay. cultivate good health. Mm, well, I, actually, I wouldn't say that, but I would say I would like to be healthy or to stay healthy, for example. Google, mm -hmm. a veces lo, lo mm -hmm. I would like to stay healthy, to be healthy. Uh -huh. okay. To be healthy. Okay, continue. Uh, Renee, ask somebody. Okay. Okay, uh, ladies, what would you like to eat to which rich? Rich, where rich? I will buy a car 2023 and a big hotel in the sea, in the sea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. So oh, she gosh. has expectations, right? I will buy a 2023 car in a hotel. <laughs> Okay, so the name of the hotel, the name of the hotel that you're going to ask? Ladies Hotel. Okay. Okay, very good. Lady, please continue. Yes, of course. Okay, lady, please ask the questions. Aquí les espero. 
Ahí buscando a Lady, no la encontramos. Tú, tan grande. Es el no, solo, en el Google solo vamos a poner Lady My Star. Y, y yo, Ladies yo, Resort. Yeah. Okay. Encantadísima, encantadísima. Este, Lelia es Estela. Okay. What Lelia. do you do if you were rich? And I would like to buy an apartment. Oh, okay, an apartment. We're here in El Salvador. El Salvador. In San Salvador. Yes. Okay, very good. So continue. I select a classmate. Ask the question, what would you do if you were rich? Select a classmate. Uh, Julio. Okay, Julio. Yes. Uh, what would you do if you were rich? I would like to buy a uh, another home, another house, mm -hmm. and I buy a ranch, a ranch and? on the beach. On the beach. Ah, okay, a ranch. Okay. Uh, yes, you can say. Uh, I think that we can use that or a house at the beach. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Julia, please continue. Select a classmate. So let's investigate about what would you do if you were rich? Diana. Diana, okay. What would you do if you were rich? Diana, tell us, Diana. Diana está por acá. I will continue with my medical studies. Okay, so you would like to continue studying, right? My studies uh, were in the USA. No. Okay, very good, guys. So now let's continue with the second question, uh, third question. So what will you do if you were poor? Very <laughs> the same. The same. <laughs> what would you do if you were poor? If you were poor? Uh -huh. So what will you do? Well, poor means no. Well, it means that you have nothing, right? So I would uh, work. So what will you do? Any idea? Give me some ideas. Um, let's see. Let's brainstorm that. Rene? So what will you do if I you were? Would, I would like to try. I would like to fish a play to, to sleep. <laughs> okay. Okay. You would like to find a place to sleep. Okay. Uh, I buy a so you would buy? Buy, yeah. I buy this one. Okay. Hey, Veronica, any idea? Hmm. I will I will do to do a to run a business or activities and another activities how Sell, 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 maybe sell food. Some. Sell, sell food. food, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, next question. What would you do if you could suddenly speak English? <laughs> I will think in English. I would say in English, like Adele, right? Okay, let's see, somebody else. Um. Diana, so what will you do if you could suddenly speak English? You already speak English. What will you do if you could suddenly speak English? Si de repente, así de... <laughs> so what will you do? So Veronica says, I would sing in English. Get a new job. <laughs> I would, okay, get a new job. I would...
I would have it. I would have I would go to the USA. USA. Okay, I would travel to the USA. USA or England. England, okay. To England, okay, yeah. So what else, Rene? Speaking, um, I visited, I was, I was a visited um, different country. Okay. Um, Canada. Different countries. Okay. In particular, Canada. Okay. A little bit different countries, in particular, Canada. Canada. Okay. Very good. Let's see. Let's uh, try with another question. What will you do if you won a lottery? So, what will you do, guys? Ideas? Julio? So what will you do? Uh, I would like to uh, buy a, a three bus. Bus? Mm -hmm. bus? A bus? Bus. Okay. Yeah. Why not? Okay. What else? Uh, let's see. What will you do if you won a lottery, um, lady? I would like to bus. Oh, yes, I do. Yes. Helicopter. <laughs> okay, and the <laughs> helicopter. Okay, let's see. Rafael, tell us, Rafael, you're too quiet. So what will you do if you won a lottery? I would like uh, to help uh, people. People. Mm -hmm. People, or, kids. Or G. What is it? Orgy. Okay. Rosa. Hello, Rosa. Here. Rosa, tell us. What will you do if you won the lottery? I would like um you would like to repeat it, please. I would like to buy a business. Okay. Uh, well, yes, to run a business, to buy some, let me check how do we say this, uh, acciones, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Let me check because I don't remember that. Um. Okay. Doings, uh, action, doings, I think. So probably run a business. Yes, to run a business, to administrate the business. And how about you? Let's see. I haven't asked. Um, Ana Marlene, tell us. So what will you do if you won the last <sighs> tips? I would like to buy a house. To for buy my mom, my mom, for my mom, for your mom. Okay, okay, nice. And let's see, Fernando, tell us, Fernando. So what will you do? I don't know, if Fernando, you here now? Yet? I think I tell you Okay, so and let's finish with the last question. It's about what will you do if you were uh, told you have one month to live? Yes, guys. Important question. So, what would you do if you were told that you have one month to live? I would. Any idea, guys? So, what would you do if you were told that you have one month to live? I would. I would uh, jump an airplane. Okay, jump for an, an airplane. Airplane, okay. 
So what else? Um, Julio, please ask somebody from the class. Uh, lady. Okay. Ask the question. What, what would you do if you were told you had one month to life? Varias cosas, no sé. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what would you do if you were told that you had one month to live? Mm. So mention uh, one, for example. <laughs> yes. <laughs> one that thinks that you think. I would, I don't know, uh, uh, run a business, uh, travel, uh, spend a lot of money. I um, hang out with your friends. Um, what else? Eat spend whatever. a lot of money. <laughs> okay, spend a lot of money. Okay, how about, uh, please ladies, select a classmate. Rosa de Los Angeles. Okay. What will you do if you were told you had one month to live? I would dance in the theater park. So you would dance? <laughs> okay. In the theater okay. park. The park. <laughs> okay, so I would dance. Um. Okay. At the uh, Okay. You're at the park. <laughs> Rosa asked a question for a classmate. The same question. Okay. What if you were told you had one month to live? Veronica Burgess. A Where's... lot of things. Uh, I'm thinking about <laughs> <laughs> maybe I I will I will I will take a lot a time for me. For you. Just yeah. for you. And family it's... too? My family. Uh, my friends, yeah, I go to this, go to the beach, to other if I want to enjoy. Okay, so you're still, you have more than one month, guys, so do it, okay? Do it. Yes. You have more than <laughs> one month, okay? So I hope so first. Thanks, Ken, okay? So let's see. Um, Veronica, ask a classmate. Okay, um, let's see. Elena Morataya. Mm, let me see. She's a listener today, I think. Okay. Yes, she's a listener. Yeah. Okay. Oscar. I don't know if he has him. Oscar René Molina. What would you do if you were told you had one month to live? I would uh, drive and start in Formula One. Okay. <laughs> wow, do you like to drive, right? Yes. Okay. So what is the highest speed that you have? A... Yeah. The highest? Yes. 300 kilometers. Really? Where? Yeah. Here in El Salvador? Yeah. No, Formula, Formula One. Yes, it's ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So you're going to do that here, right? <laughs> so you're going to get some penalty. So, <laughs> peace. Uh, in the start of 23, it was 20 kilometers. <laughs> Or how yeah, <laughs> so you cannot do that. Okay, very good, guys. 
So now let's um, continue. We have some more activities. And let's see. So we're gonna check this vocabulary, but I'm going to pass the attendance list, okay? So just say present, I'm going to stop sharing. And later we continue with the vocabulary. Say present. Present teacher, present. Thank you. Ana Ver Veronica. Ana Veronica Hernández Rodríguez, not here, okay. Blanca Isabel Tunaca Rodríguez. Present. Present. Thank you. Okay. Blanca Luz Delgado Flores. Present. Thank you, Blanca. Carlos Miguel Umaña Lobo. Present. Thank you. Carmen Elena Morataya Alas. Okay. Carmen Guadalupe Galvez. Present. Thank you, Guadalupe. Clelia Estela Flores Molina. Present. Thank you, Clelia. Daniel Alberto Ramos Osorio. Present, teacher. Daniel, okay. Present. Thank you, Daniel. Diana Maribel Hueso Portillo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Fernando Salvador Figueroa Rosales. Present, teacher. Thank you, Fernando. Jorge Luis Castaneda Martinez. Present, Miss. Thank you. Juan Ezequiel Rivera Lemos. Julio Cesar Aguillón Arevalo. Present. Thank you, Julio. Lady Joana Hernández Ventura. Present, Miss. Thank you, Lady. Nilton Alexander Vázquez Galvez. Present. Okay. ¿Cómo está ese internet ahora, Nilton? Eh, creo que es mi dispositivo, Lee, por eso eh, este, estoy así por el momento. Y veré qué hago para arreglarlo. Ok. okay. Bueno, hoy sí hemos estado ahí todo, el, todo este tiempo. Okay. Oscar René Molina. Present, Miss. Thank you, Oscar. Rafael Antonio Hernández. Present, teacher. Thank you, Rafael. Rosa de Los Angeles Enriquez. Present. Thank you, Rosa. And Veronica Elizabeth Burgos. Present, teacher. Okay. Thank you, guys. Eh, nada más recordarles, chicos, que recuerden que la, la asistencia es muy importante para que al final se, 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 han, bueno, se le entregue su diploma y también pues, para que pueda continuar con la beca. Ahorita déjenme checar aquí cómo vamos con los porcentajes. Bueno, si no, al final, alguien que tenga dudas con los porcentajes, eh, se queda. Eh, son algunos casos en particular. Eh, bueno, ustedes creo que ya están al tanto de ello. ¿verdad? Por el tiempo que se han conectado, se han tenido problemas de conexión al no saber para, para estar pendientes de eso y ver si podemos asesorar en alguna forma para apoyarles. Ok, so let's continue, guys. So we're gonna check uh, the following vocabulary. It's related to some verbs that you already know. Okay. So you already know these verbs, but I'm uh, teaching you about uh, the pronunciation of these verbs and the simple past form and the participle form. In the following classes, we're going to start learning about, okay, learning about simple past. So I want you to start uh, practicing the verbs. Okay, um, let's start. Do, draw, drink, drive, eat, fall, feel, feel, fight, and find. Simple present form, right? Again, do, draw, drink, drive, eat, Fall, feel, feel, fight, and find. Simple past, did, drew, drank, drove, ate. Okay, the next one is fell, 
fell, felt, fought, and found, right? Again, did, drew, drunk, drove, ate, fell, fell, felt, fought, and found. In the participle form. So we're going to read this um, in this uh, line, line by line. Do, did, done. Do, did, and done. Draw, drew, and drawn. Drink, drank, and drunk. Drive, drove, and driven, driven. Eat, ate, and eat him, eat him. Fall, fell, fallen, fallen. Feel, fed, fed. Feel, felt, felt. Fight, fought, fought. Find, found, and found. So some of them have the same pronunciation for the simple past form and the participle form. So, but, um, so just remember, so what is the participle form? The one that ends in ido, ado, right? For example, um, do, hacer, hice, y hecho, right? So it's an irregular verb. Draw, drew, and drawn. Dibujar, dibujó, dibujé. Y dibujado, right? The next one, drink, drank, and drunk. Tomar, tomé, y tomado, o bebido, right? Drive, drove, and driven. Manejar, manejé, y... So what's Manejado. this one? Manejado, right? Eat, ate, and eaten. Comer, comí, y... Comiendo. Participle form, past participle form, comido, right? Fall, fell, fallen. Caer, caí, past form, and fallen. Cayendo. Caído. Mm -hmm. Caído. Caído. Okay. Feed, fed, and fed. Alimentar. Alimenté and alimentado. So remember, participle forms, ido, ado. Um, acepta los irregular, irregular verbs. Tienen una terminación diferente como era el uso de did. Do, did, done. Termina hecho. No tiene ninguna terminación de ido y ado. Uh, let's see the next one. Uh, it's uh, field, sentir, felt. Sentí y felt, sentido. Fight, pelear. Fought, peleé. And fought, peleado. Find, encontrar. Found, encontré. Y found, encontrado. Um, basically, we use these uh, forms in the perfect tenses. Solamente lo utilizamos con los tiempos perfectos. Okay, um, we're going to do the following. We're going to practice once more, and then you're going to do it on your own. So listen up and repeat that with me. Do, do, did, did, done, done, done. draw, draw, drew, drew, drawn, 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 drink. 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 Drank. 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 Drunk. 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 Mm -hmm. So we also use this word in order to say that someone has, um, let's say, has drunk a lot. I think I tomado right? Drive. 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 Drove. 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 Driven. 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 Eat. 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 Eat.
fell, fell, fell. fallen, fallen, fell, 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 Fought. 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 So listen up, I'm going to ask you to send me um, a recording with these verbs, but the, after the class. So right now I want you to practice for a while with the classmate and try to pronounce them as correct as possible, okay? So get a screenshot, guys, from that the vocabulary. Como te hace la screenshot? Let me see the print. So you select the um, keyboard and the keyboard you check with the for um for the one that says I M P P N T. So I think that's the one. También lo puede hacer con una herramienta de recorte con el eh, se llama Bueno, herramienta de recortes. Para les voy a mandar una captura también. Ahorita voy a compartir. Esta. No. No. Sí, más abajo. Más abajo. Ah, muy pequeño, ¿verdad? Sí. No. Pero es que este no es, no sé si es doble página. Esta. Esta tiene que ser. La voy a ampliar. ¿Puede visualizar? Sí. Vaya. Está. Bueno, comienza, com, comienzo yo. Do. 
draw, drink, drop, eat, fall, feel, fit, fight, find, did, draw, drew, drunk, drop, ate, feel, feel, fall, felt, felt, fought, pond. Don't draw, drunk, drive, eating, falling, fell, fell, pot, found. The Rosa de los Angeles. Do, draw, drive, eat, fall, feed, drive, eat, do. Drunk, no, eight, fell, 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 fold, found, strong, strong, drunk, driving, eating, falling, found. Oh. Mm -hmm. Repeat. Mm. <laughs> eh, bueno. Eh, do, draw, drink, drive, eat, fall, feed, feel, no, feed. Esa se ve mejor. Sería do, did, and don. Draw, drew, and drown. Drink, drank, drunk. Drive, drove, driven. Eat, ate, eat it. Fall, fell, fallen. Feel, fed, no, fed. Feel, felt, and felt. Fight, fourth, fourth. Find, found, and found. Si se ve más clara esta imagen. Si se ve más clara. Do, did, done. Draw, drew, drum. Drink, drank, drunk. Dry, drew, driven. Eat, a. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Are you alone? Um, uh, um, no. Ya terminamos. Oh, ah, okay. <laughs> With me. With Clelia. <laughs> okay. Yes. So we're going to go back, guys. Okay. Okay, so we're going to check, guys. We continue with the um, class objective for this class. And can you read that, please, uh, lady? Yes, class objective. Participants will be able to perform a role play using the vocabulary 
and the grammar learned during the unit in which one employee is asking for a raise correctly. Okay. So I hope that we have enough time. Uh, at the end of this session, you're going to uh, ask for a raise. So what's the meaning for a race? Race? Un? Any idea? So when you go with your boss and you ask him to give you more money because of your job. Un? Aumento. Aumento. Mm -hmm. Okay. Asking for, okay. for a race. Asking uh, someone for a race. Okay, so we're going to check um, the grammar that we started yesterday, a would and would like. So we have the forms that we were studying. Um, let's see, can you read the affirmative uh, structure, Oscar? Affirmative structure. So what is the affirmative structure? Okay. structure. Subject plus would be lost. Burn. Example, Oscar. Um, um, Fernando. Uh, would um, a driving motor motorcycle. Okay, Fernando would like to drive a motorcycle. Fernando would like to drive a motorcycle. Yeah. Okay, negative sentence. Can you read that one, please, uh, Veronica? Negative. Negative. Uh, he will drive. Mm -hmm. He will drive. Um, his car. Yeah. His car. Okay, so and what is the structure for the negative sentence? Trash of water. Wood. Water. Okay. Subject plus wood. Wood. Mm -hmm. Plus base verb. Okay, awesome. Subject plus would not plus base verb. Example, he wouldn't drive his car. Yeah. So, is this a contraction? Yes, right? Wouldn't. Yes. We have the contraction yes. for would not. Okay, questions. Can you help us with that, Julio? Questions? Yes, no questions? Yes, no question. Who plus subject? Subject. Plus, uh -huh. plus base verb. Okay. Example? Who he go to the museum often? Okay. And we have the answers for these yes, no questions, right? Sure answers to yes, no questions. So we need a pronoun subject plus would plus not. Yes, he would for the affirmative and no, he wouldn't for the negatives, right? Uh, would he go to the museums often? Yes, he would. No, he wouldn't, right? Okay, double H questions. Can you read that information, please? Um, Diana, double H questions. See, uh, Diana, you hear? Activate your microphone. Uh, w H question. W H were a subject plus will plus base verb. Uh, Example. What will be something fun to do? Okay. So what will be something fun to do? So you have an open question, right? Uh, I like to, okay, I like to, let's say, to run, to hang out or something like that. And we have the double H word is not subject plus would, subject plus base verb. Were, would, he eat dinner. He eat in his apartment, right? 
So we have a subject and object questions. So remember that the subject questions are questions like what, the who, whom, and the double H words that are not, uh, let's say subject questions. We have where, when, and uh, let's say which, uh, another one, how, for example. So that's what we mean, how, how. So remember that the subject questions ask about the subject. Uh, for example, who paint? Um, okay. Who painted the wall? Maria, okay. So I'm asking about the subject of that the sentence. So that is a subject question. And we also have a, let's say, object questions. Um, for example, a word, let's say, how, uh, let's see, another one, why. So basically, subject questions are the one that ask about the subject. Uh, they can act uh, like a subject pronoun. Mm -hmm. A who, which, let's see, a whom, and uh, I think that we have, ah, uh, yes, and what. Okay, so these are sub, these um, double H words can work at uh, subject questions, and the rest are, uh, let's say, object questions. Okay, so that's part of that explanation. So, what will be something fun to do? And uh, where would he eat dinner? He did eat dinner at his apartment, right? So let's check some examples. Just let me share, guys. Okay, so let's check um, how do we respond to these questions. So would you like to uh, go to a party? So if you accept, you can also give uh, these kind of answers. Sounds good. Yes, I love to. Or yes, I would. No, I wouldn't, right? Or you also have these uh, ways to respond as when you accept or when you refuse to do that. No, thanks. No, sorry. I like to go shopping. Okay, so let's practice. It sounds good. Yes, I love to. No, thanks. No, sorry. I like to go shopping. Okay, again, sounds good. Yes, I love to. Or, so what's the one that we have studied for yes, no questions? Yes, I would, right? Yes, I would. Or, no, I wouldn't. So keep in mind that information. We're gonna use it in a moment. So we have some questions. So what is the next part, the, the missing part for this question? Would you like to, based on the picture, would you like to? Would you like to ride a horse sit down? Look at this. So here we have the question, would you like to? And look at this, we have the ways how you can respond. So we can use a yes, no answer, or you can use these um, phrases too. Sounds good. Yes, I love to, me encantaría. No, thanks. No, sorry, I like to go shopping. Okay, so the question, so would you like to? To play basketball. Would you like to play basketball? Let's see, Oscar. Yes, I'd like. I would. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Or yes, I love to, right? Yes, I like to. Okay. Um, so what's the part that we're missing in here? Would you like to? Swim. Swing. Would you like to swim, Veronica? No, sorry, I, I will. Like, mm -hmm. no, thanks, or sorry, no, okay, no, thanks, sorry, I don't, 
I could like uh -huh. or like to go swing. Mm -hmm. No, sorry, I like to go shopping. No, sorry, I like to. No, oh, I like to go shopping. Mm -hmm. So, but the first answer that you got is an uh, yes or no, right? So, would you like to, guys? Would you like to watch TV? Yes. Blanca? Blanca Luz? Yes, so I like watch TV. Okay. Yes, I like to watch TV. So, think about this. So, what could be a question? Would, based on the picture, would I like to do math? Would you like to? Like to math. math. To study, to learn, 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 learn. Would you like to learn math? Math. math. Mm -hmm. So, would you like to learn about math? Math or oh, physical. Yes, I will. Uh -huh. I am a teacher of mathematics. Okay. Yes, I love too. Okay. Next question. So what do you think about this one? Ideas? No. Yes, I love too. They say not teacher because I don't like <laughs> math. <laughs> okay. Um, would you go to the cinema? Go to the movies. Mm -hmm. Go to the movies. Okay. Would you like to go to the movies with uh, him or her? So guys, would you like to go to the movies with him or her? No, thanks. <laughs> I will not. Okay, no, thanks. We don't know. <laughs> yes, I would. Okay. Love it. I will yes. love it. I'd love to. Love. Yeah. So we have the contraction for would. I, right? Okay, question. Uh, so, the question. Would you like to go to the shopping? Would you like to go to the shopping? Okay, would you like to go shopping? Mm -hmm. Would you like to go shopping? Yes. yes I, I, will. Love, I love it. No. <laughs> <laughs> No, thank you. No, thanks. Uh, Rosa? No, thanks. How about you, Rosa? It's aburrido. It's boring. Uh, no. Okay, it's boring. The activity is boring. Mm, okay. Yes. It's well, that, is, it's, that depends. If you're the one buying <laughs> or if you're helping somebody, well, it takes time, right? Okay, next question. Boys, would you? Well, or girls, I don't know if you like to play video games. I love to. Would you like to play video games? Julio, would you like to play video games? Yes. Yes, you love video games. How much time do you spend playing video games? Around one hour of day. Daily, okay. Okay. So look at this. Any idea that comes to your mind based on that picture? Would you like drinks? Would you like drinks? Um, Would you like beer? Okay. Would you like to drink? The beer. I don't know. No, right. It's whiskey. <laughs> whiskey. No. <laughs> tequila. Whiskey, tequila. No? Yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Unless <laughs> <laughs> you're going to learn how to Wrong. 
<laughs> I have no idea about <laughs> Okay, let's continue. Yes, I love too, somebody said, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, next question. So will you? Would you like ride a horse? Ride, ride a horse? Like ride Have a you horse. ever ride a horse? Have you ever ride a horse, guys? The no. no? Veronica? Yes. No, no. No. You have to do it. Julio? Yes. Have you ever ride a horse? Yes. Ah, okay. Have you ever? Good. And that's it. So let's continue because we have uh, some other activities. Let's go back. So now we're going to practice with this, with our manual. So we're going to open that. So I want you to open your manual if you have it. Okay. So I think you, you will have it. So we're going to work on section 123, page 27. Page 27. So let's open that, guys. So I'm ready. I already have it. And we're going to have a review about the things that we have been studying. Okay. So we're going to match the different steps to follow when making an online purchase. So do you remember these? You remember that, guys? So, so. Yes, yes. I remember. Yeah. Okay, so we have to do the match. Look at this, we have credit cards, confirm your information, select the item. Go to the online web page. Awesome, very good. It's ready. Let me draw the line. Okay, so go to the online web page. Okay, credit cards. So you have to match that with this information to purchase the price to your account, information, a payment, submit billing address, credit yeah. card. Credit cards, okay. information, right? On um, um, credit card information. Okay. How about confirm your information? Select the items to purchase. Oh. Okay. Con ah, okay. Select the items to. Okay. Purchase. Uh, confirm your information. Right, the address, billing address. Billing address. So let me check if we have um, another one here at the bottom. Right, the billing address. Okay, so what do you think about the next one? So we have confirmed your information. Log into your account. Log into your account. Good. Confirm the method uh, of payment. payment. Confirm payment. the method of payment. Okay, payment. Check. Confirm your information. Right information. Okay, confirm your information. Yes. Billing address. Check no. billing address. Check the price. Write your information. Okay, write your information. Yes. Check the price. Okay, check the price. Mm -hmm. So it has moved. Configure your information, submit. Okay, how about, let's see, and how about submit and billing address? So how about confirm your information? Any idea? So you remember that? Select the items to purchase. So for credit cards, information. For credit cards. 
Mm -hmm. Confirm your information. It is. Billing address. Uh, confirm your information, submit. Submit. And how about billing address? So what do you have? Mm. Submit. Okay, so we're going to check that. Let me see. So this is exercise number. Let's check that. Oops, 27. In case it's better now. Well, I think I lost it. Well, let's continue with the next one. So I think that we have a problem with that one. Submit. Submit credit cards. Yeah, I think that's the one. So what do you think? Credit cards, submit. Guys? What's the submit? Presentar. Enviar. Mm -hmm. mm. So we have credit cards, information. Well, that could be possible, but we have another one. So we have check information, right? So we have credit cards. Mm. Mm -hmm. Guys, purchase price to your account. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Go to the online online web page. Mm -hmm. So we already have it. I go to the online web page. Mm -hmm. Select the item login to purchase. Login, login, your, login to your account. Okay. Right. Confer your method, confirm the method of payment. Okay. So you write the billing address, uh, Veronica? I repeat it, please. Right. Yes, in yes, right, the building address, in confirm the method of payment. Mm -hmm. Confirm the method of payment. Check the price. Check the price, yes. Check the price or the information. Mm, check the price. Mm -hmm. Check the price. And then select the items to purchase. Okay, so we have submit. Submit. Credit, credit cards information. Mm -hmm. Configure so your information, submit. Mm -hmm. So confirm your information. So there you have it. So now it's clear. Okay. So take a screenshot if you want to have it. <laughs> okay, let's continue. So we have some more exercises here. And uh, look at this. So we're going to do the following. We're going to practice and we're going to ask uh, at least different partners to valid reasons why customers can ask for a refund and the reasons when they cannot ask for it. For example, you're, you're going to write a name, you're going to write an acceptable reason or something that is not unacceptable. Um, for example, let's say an acceptable reason. So what could be an acceptable reason why you can ask for a refund? Okay. Ask if a party person why cost me can ask for a refund. What could be a valid reason why customer can ask for a refund? So that's the question. So what could be an, an acceptable reason? The product is, for example? Is damage. Okay, it's damage. 
So what could be an unacceptable reason? Unacceptable reason? Unacceptable. Uh, the product doesn't like. Okay. The product is not what you wanted, let's say. So that's not what you want, but you got it. So it doesn't have any problem. So you're going to write the name, for example, uh, let's say Veronica. So an acceptable reason. So the product is damaged. The product is not what you wanted. Let's try to create another one. Let's say Oscar. So what could be an acceptable reason or a valid reason why customer can ask for a refund? Any idea, guys? Let's talk about, let's say, the screen of a smartphone. The screen is, uh, okay, turned, um, let's say, black. The screen to black. Mm -hmm. When I was, uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. The screen turned black when I was playing video games. Or oh, it has two lines in the screen. So what could be an unacceptable reason to return that or to ask for that refund? Any idea? Unacceptable reason, guys? The smartphone is fallen. Mm -hmm. The smartphone, uh, a small, smaller screen. Ah, okay. The size, the size yeah. is the size. The size is not, it's not appropriate. Not appropriate for the game. Let's say. Game. I think does it happen, guys? Does it happen for some games? Yes, right. Or the processor. Yes, I think the size not appropriate for the game. Okay, so you have to think about some uh, valid reasons and some unacceptable reasons. So you're going to have four spaces and ask your classmate. Think, set the scenario. For example, a cell phone, a product like a fridge or a television, or a smart TV, or a smartwatch. So think about one of that, the, let's say, products. OK. So guys, is the idea clear what you're going to do right now? Is that clear? So you have to think about four, uh, four acceptable reasons and four unacceptable reasons. Yes. Okay. So let's open the breakout rooms and let's work.
uh, um, has a problem with the sound. Uh -huh. sí. Has a problem with the sound. Y la, la, la siguiente que es in, in acceptable reason. Como una razón aceptable. No, inaceptable, la segunda. The product. Uh, podría ser uh, producer. Tenemos que tenemos que armar. Yes, try to write at least two. Tenemos que escribir de la ticha. Ajá, try to write at least two scenarios. So let's say, uh, probably if you have got the new computer and the keyboard is not working. Mm -hmm. Or the screen is, uh, I don't know, dark or great, or it has two line in the screen. So you can talk about a computer or any other device, let's say a fridge. Okay. Hoy sí ya se escucha. Sí, se escucha. Yo creo que estamos teniendo problemas ahí. Sí, tiene no sé si Rosa. Sí. Sí, tiene problemas ahí con el... Hello, hello, Rosa. Can you hear that? Nos escucha? Ah, ok. Si nos escucha, pero no sé si nos puede hablar. Creo que no sé si el problema ahí con el micrófono. Sí, porque no la escuchamos. Bueno, vamos a ver el siguiente. Porque comparta, lo voy a enviar ahí con otra compañera a las dos, que la escuchen a las ideas que ya tienen. Más pues bien, la voy a traer acá. So, this is room three. Este es el tres. Ok, uh, hello, lady. Hey. Mm -hmm. So share with your ideas with um with Diana and, and Rosa. Okay. And think about one more scenario. For example, I was talking to some of your classmates about a computer that probably is not working. But because of the keyboard or the keyboard doesn't work or the, let's say the screen has two lines or the audio is not working properly. Mm -hmm. So think about some two, uh, one or two situations, okay? 
the cap is the mage. The cap is very expensive. The piece, uh, laptop is broken. The specifications are different. Okay, the specifications are different. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. See, si, uh, Diana, do you have any other? Ah, okay. Let's see, the TV is, uh, yeah, so you uh, you asked for a Samsung and they uh, gave you uh, an LG, for example. I don't like the TV color. Yeah, I don't like that TV's color. Okay, yeah, it's okay. So write that on your notebooks. Okay, and Diana, do you have any uh, any situation? Activate your microphone. It's off. Como fue? Me puede repetir, por favor. <coughs> yes. Uh, so what is the situation that you have said? So what could be an acceptable reason for you to ask for a refund? So what could be an acceptable reason? Me lo puede repetir en español porque no le comprendo. ¿Cuál podría ser una, una este, razón válida para... Pedir una, un reembolso. Por una prenda dañada, tal vez. Ajá. Ok. So, what else? Um, ok, una prenda dañada. Um, how about uh, unacceptable? Algo que no podría ser aceptable. No podría pedir yo un reembolso por esa prenda. Porque excedió el límite de tiempo. Ok. Let's say the shirt is... It has a hole, for example, let's say. Or you lost the warranty, right? <clears throat> so we can say that the warranty is over. So this could be the, let's say that the shirt has a hold or the warranty is over. So you don't have, you cannot ask for a refund. Okay, so you can write that ideas. Okay, so now we're going to go back and we're going to have a speaking practice just to conclude, ladies and ladies. Too. <laughs> okay. El tiempo creo que ya acaba. Yes, we're going to go back. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Miss. Thank you, ladies.
Okay, yeah, so we're going to uh, finish with this conversation and we're going to practice, uh, we're going to read it first and later you're going to have some time to practice. So look at this, um, asking for a pay increase. So asking for a raise. Look at this, we have Abigail and Mark. Hi, are you free for a quick chat? Mark, sure, come in, come in, sit down. What can I do for you? Okay, I really feel that it's about time that I should have a pay increase. Okay, and why do you feel that way? Well, I have been here for now for three years and in that span of time, I made good progress. I really feel that I've grown in the job. I've taken on a lot more responsibility. I just think it's time that it should be recognized and that my efforts are rewarded. <laughs> span of time means a uh, lapso de tiempo, so that span of time. Right, so you feel that you're underpaid with the current responsibilities that comes along with your position. Do you? Next part. Yeah, I do believe that I, what, what I contributed to that department over recent months means that I should be paid more. Yeah, I do believe that. What I contributed to the department over recent months means that I should be paid more. Okay, what kind of pay increase will you, will you be looking for? Well, I think that a 3% increase on top of the usual annual salary adjustment isn't too much to ask for. 3%, well, as you know, I can't just give you a pay increase immediately. I'll have to discuss this with the other managers here. Okay. Okay, fine. Should I put this request in writing as well? So we all have a record for this discussion. Okay, fine. Should I? Okay. So that's uh, there we finish. Yeah. <laughs> so we're done with that. So I want you to practice the conversation in, with the classmate and let's read it once more. Hi, are you free for a quick chat? Sure, come in, come in, sit down. What can I do for you? Okay, well, it's a bit difficult, but I really feel that it's about time that I should have a pay increase. Okay, and why do you feel that way? Well, I have been here for now for three years. And in that span of time, I made good progress. I really feel that I've grown in the job. I've taken on a lot of more responsibility. I just think it's time that it should be recognized and that my efforts are rewarded. Right, so you feel that you're underpaid with the current responsibilities that comes along with your position, do you? Yeah, I do believe that. What I've contributed to the department over recent months means that I should be paid more. Okay, what kind of pay increase will you be looking for? Well, I think that a 3% increase on top of the usual annual salary adjustment isn't, okay, isn't too much to ask for. 3%, well, as you know, I can't just give you a pay increase immediately. I'll have to discuss this with the other managers here. Okay, fine. Should I put this request in writing as well? So we'll have a record of this discussion and then we're done. Okay, so listen up. Um, I'm going to send you the screenshots so you can uh, discuss that with your classmates. So I'm going to recreate the break of rooms. Okay. And uh, please uh, work with uh, your classmate. So have the speaking uh, conversation, role play that conversation, okay? I'm going to send you the pictures in a moment. Le puede subir un poquito, teacher, para... Para capturar la pantalla del otro cuadro, dice Marca. ¿De ahí? 
Okay. What I can do is uh, sending you the screenshot that I have. Yeah, they... I I really feel that I be grown in the job and I be taking on a lot more responsibility. I just think it I just think it's time that it should be recognized and that my efforts are rewarded. Okay, and why do you feel that way? Well, I have been here now for three years and in that span of time, I be made good progress. I really feel that I be grown in the job and I be taken on a lot more responsibility. I you think it it's saying that it should be recognizing and that my efforts are over. Está repetido, creo. Quiero que lo corte. Ah. Oh. Ah, sí. Uh -huh. Entonces este también, ¿verdad? Say so it right. Sí. Try to see feel that you're under fine with the current responsibility that comes along with your position. Do you? Yeah, I do believe that what I be contributed to the department over recent months means that I should be paid more. Okay. What kind? Ingress, who you the looking for? Well, I think that uh, three and I say, come say the percentage percent. three percent. percent. Three Increase percent. on top of the usual annual salary adjustment isn't too much to ask for. Three percent, well, uh, as. You know, and can you give you a faith in great remedy is it have to discourse this with the other manager here? Okay, fine. Shall I put this request in writing as well? Hello, guys. Did you finish? Yes. Okay. Okay. 
Well, it's actually time. So let's go back. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, well, I think that the time well it wasn't that much, and I think that we're going to continue with that conversation tomorrow. I hope that we have some more time, and um, I'm just going to pass attendance list and just remember that you have to complete the activity for um. Mm -hmm. Okay, Rosa. Sí, no, no sé qué ha pasado ahí. Probablemente sean hay que volver a conectar ahí el, el audio, conectarlo y conectarlo nuevamente. O podría ser si estás utilizando algún este eh, audífono, no sé, porque no, no la escuché. Bien. Sería bueno que, pro, que probemos antes de, de quizás, bueno, después de la, de la reunión puede estar probando ahí. O oh, pues se queda también para que lo probemos. Uh -huh. Ok. Um, let me see. Okay, well, just a reminder, uh, try to complete with the last activity that we have for this week. And remember that the midterm is ready, okay? Bueno, que en este, este momento pues, ya tienen habilitado el midterm. Eh, nada más realizamos la tarea 10 y después pues pueden empezar a realizar el examen medio. Okay, so it's going to take some time, so look for a space that What you... What is the today, teacher? The midterm? Okay, está en la morning. Okay, just let me show you that. And then we're done. Bueno, este día nos quedaríamos con, I think it's Daniel. No sé si Daniel está por acá. If not, we stay with Diana. Diana, my way. And is at the unit number two time. Showing number two at the end of that unit. That for the midterm for a questions. So there you have the midterm. Y recuerden hacer este examen también. Eso va parte de, de las actividades de la semana. Sería su examen medio de lo que hemos estado viendo. And then we're going to start unit number three tomorrow. Okay, just that, guys. I'm going to pass the tennis list. Just say present. We stay with the uh, say again with the uh, Dian. Yes, with Dian. Okay, Ana Marlene Andrade. Ana Veronica Hernandez. Present. Thank you, Veronica. Blanca Isabel Tunaca. Present. Thank you, Blanca. Blanca Luis Delgado. Present, teacher. Thank you, Carlos Miguel Umaña. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miguel. Carlos Roberto Argueta. Carmen Elena Morataya Alas. Listener. Okay. Carmen Guadalupe. Thank you, Elena. Carmen Guadalupe Galvez. Clelia Estela Flores. Daniel Alberto Ramos. Diana Maribel Hueso. Thank you, Diana. Fernando Salvador Figueroa. Jorge Luis Castaneda. Thank you, Fernando. Juan Ezequiel Rivera Lemos. Julio César Aguillón. Present. Thank you, Julio. Lady Joan Hernandez. Present, Miss. Thank you, Lady. Nilton Alexander Vázquez. Oscar René Molina. Present, Miss. Thank you. Rafael Antonio Hernandez. Present, teacher. Thank you, Rafael. Rosa de Los Ángeles Enríquez. And ah, she has problems with the audio. Veronica Elizabeth Burgos. Yes, present teacher. Okay, so that's all for today, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. So have a great night. Sleep well, guys. Okay, so we just stay with Diana. And if somebody has a question, stay. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.
Bye bye, teacher. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, Diana. Um, <laughs> ya está. Los demás estaban rápidos y querían ir a dormir. <laughs> Okay, uh, Diana, uh, tell me if you have any question about any topic or about um, the class. No sé si tiene alguna pregunta, Diana, en particular, alguna duda. Solo que a veces no le entiendo mucho a la clase, hay cuestiones que aún no las manejo. ¿Algunos tiempos? Ajá. Es que sean que nosotras, bueno, nosotros va, y vamos a empezar Ajá. desde cero supuestamente y nos incorporaron a este módulo, entonces Ustedes, hay cosas que de... básicamente yo no las entiendo. Ajá. Entonces es por eso que a veces no participo mucho y me tardo en contestar porque no, no, no comprendo. Yeah. Uh -huh. Bueno, well, pero sí, de ella try to do it, por lo menos intenta hacerlo. Y yo he notado también que a veces, sí, sí, he, he notado eso. Pero igual, eh, siéntese en confianza de preguntar o este, para que le apoyemos. Igual, este, también para eso son la asesoría. Y me parecería que también le dieron una solución al final de, del módulo. Que, uh -huh. Estaría bien, pero. En general, eh, sí he visto que ha, ha intentado, y eso es bueno. Igual que Elena, no sé si es compañera. Sí. <ríe> sí, no, yo, yo la felicito porque también sé que han hecho el esfuerzo. Gracias. Pero igual, eh, siempre, yo sé que algo van a aprender, algo van a aprender y les va a servir más adelante. Eh, pero igual, si les gustaría reforzar algún tema en particular, podríamos hacerlo. Está bien, Ajá, nada más este. Ok. okay. Um, sí, solamente me gustaría que saber como que qué tema le causa así como un poquito más de, de dudas o, o que le gustaría ahí afianzarse un poquito más para ir. Siento que quizás. Eh... Este que acabamos de pasar, del Google y el Google. Más que todo, cómo formular las preguntas, siento yo. Pero y también apagar aquí la, la cámara que se me escucha cortado. Eh, ahorita, ahorita sí. Sería con el uso de Google. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, yo solamente eh, tengo que cerrar aquí algunas pestañitas, pero ya. Vamos el día de ayer. Le voy a poner acá unos ejemplos. Este Word tiene diferentes usos. Nosotros lo estamos viendo para hablar de preferencias. Eh, por ejemplo, cuando decimos, ¿qué te gustaría hacer? What would you like to do? También lo podemos utilizar para hablar, expresar deseos en tiempo presente o tiempo futuro. Me gustaría dormir, por ejemplo. O me gustaría viajar a otro país. Es un deseo futuro. ¿No? Puede ser un deseo en presente como algo que le gustaría hacer en este momento. Entonces, eso es con respecto al uso. Entonces, podemos hablar de preferencia, yo le podría hacer una oferta a usted, ofrecerle algo. ¿A qué te gustaría, qué te gustaría cenar? ¿O qué te gustaría tomar? What would you like to drink? Por ejemplo, ¿qué te gustaría tomar? Entonces, eh, con eso usted me va a expresar que es su preferencia. What would you like to drink? Tenemos ahí, I would, también tenemos la contracción, esa es la forma contractada, I like. Cuando hablamos de preferencia siempre va seguido del verbo like. I would like to drink, me gustaría tomar eh, soda, por ejemplo. I like to, ok, I like, yeah, to drink a coffee, por ejemplo. Me gustaría un café. Usualmente, eh, 
lo podríamos ocupar en este caso para hacer eh, una oferta, una offer. También eh, wishes, veíamos los, los deseos en the present or future. Ese es uno de los usos. Preferences, para hablar de preferencias que te gustaría tomar. The offers, uno, un ofrecimiento. Entonces, esos son algunos de los usos más comunes que hemos estado viendo. Uh -huh. Y tenemos también eh, las formas como responder. ¿verdad? Tenemos oraciones negativas. Aquí tenemos una pregunta. Y aquí tenemos una oración afirmativa. Aquí también, solo que contractada. Ahora, en cuanto a las negativas, la estructura sería eh, siempre un sujeto. Subject, pronoun, es I, you, we, they, he, she, it, pero... Después va seguido de will, un verbo semimodal. Para, eh, estos verbos semimodales nos ayudan para indicar, eh, en este caso, referencias, deseos. En este caso. A ver, tenemos por ahí también, después de would, vamos a, okay, vamos a agregarle aquí de una vez, would not, más un verbo en su forma infinitiva. Quiere decir que va sin el tú. Por ejemplo, I. ¿Qué te gustaría hacer? Ah, la pregunta que tenemos ahí arriba. I would like to. Find a job. Me gustaría encontrar un empleo. Un job. Aquí, segunda persona. A ti te gustaría. You would like to. Write the book, for example. Ese es un, un deseo de que tengo. Ya, pues el presente o futuro. Uh, we would like to visit the Great Wall. Decían algunos compañeros que querían visitar la muralla china. ¿no? Y también. Podríamos utilizar eh, otro verbo, no solo like. El like, eh, would like, es cuando nosotros hablamos de referencias. En el caso de otro verbo, por ejemplo, eh, podría ser en una condición. Como lo veíamos hoy en la clase, teníamos dos, eh, dos oraciones. Decíamos, si yo... Este if significa sí, pero para establecer una condición. Si yo hiciera tal cosa, pasaría esto. If I uh, were rich, por ejemplo, si yo fuera rica, ¿qué pasará si yo fuera rica? Bailaría. Okay. Otra oración. Tenemos, en este caso tenemos dos oraciones. Si yo fuera rica y bailaría. Okay, porque acá si yo digo I will dance, okay, si entiendo el contexto ahí, ¿qué te gustaría hacer? No me, no me, no me da la respuesta como completa. Entonces uh -huh. tiene que haber una, una condición. Okay, si yo fuera rica, y aquí podríamos agregar una, una pregunta también. ¿Qué haría si fuera rica? What Double H question, después viene would, el pronombre, would you, do, un verbo, y aquí la condición, si tú fueras, el pasado del verbo to be, si tú fueras, eh, rico, rico. Si yo fuera rica, fuera, por ejemplo, Rich, I would play tennis, por decir algo. Podemos empezar. Ajá. 
podríamos empezar también, esto les comentaba leer, podríamos empezar también con, la, con, con esta oración, con esta. Jugaría, I would play tennis, y no cambiaría nada. Solamente tengo que poner una coma en medio. Ok, let's check that. Y vamos a checar los ejemplos que teníamos. Permítanme. De que vea el ejemplo que teníamos de la clase del día de ayer. Vamos a ver. Este y no Solamente que cuando hablamos ya de esas condiciones, es, eh, utilizamos un tiempo pasado y utilizamos el semimodal. Vamos a ver. Esto. Entonces, entonces lo podríamos utilizar. Y, vamos a ver si puedo compartir acá. Ahí está. Lo utilizamos para hacer hipótesis y en condicionales. Es decir, que hay una condición y algo va a suceder causa de eso. Por ejemplo, le daría un carro si pudiera encontrar su... Le, le llamaría más bien. So I will give her a call. <ríe> si encontrara su número. Si yo tuviera el dinero, compraría un nuevo carro. Entonces, hay una condición. Si yo tuviera tal cosa, hiciera tal cosa. Es básicamente como una... decirle una situación hipotética o imaginaria. Eh, bastante parecido a este que tenemos acá cuando imaginamos una situación sería muy caro quedarse en un hotel I will give you a lift te daría un aventón bueno, lift es levantar pero eh, te daría un levantón pero mi esposa tiene el carro hoy entonces lo que quiero que veamos acá es también que usted podría hacer ese tipo de oraciones. Empezar por, ya sea por la oración que lleva a would o por la oración que empieza con if. Ajá. Si yo tuviera. Solamente que si usted nota ahí el verbo, este es el verbo tener, ¿verdad? Pero en, en pasado. Entonces, si yo tuviera, si yo tuviera el tiempo, ¿Qué pasaría? Ahí tengo que ubicar una coma. Aquí puedo hacer una contracción, puedo escribir la forma larga, pero solamente estamos, utilizamos contracciones. Si yo tuviera el tiempo, um, pasaría tiempo contigo. I'd spend time with you. Entonces tenemos una oración en pasado y una oración en con un verbo en presente. Es una combinación. Eso se llaman condicionales. Eh, también cuando lo puedo utilizar en, horas, en situaciones hipotéticas. Por ejemplo, I would. Por ejemplo, digamos que te ayudaría en... Lo vamos a poner ahí con un if. If I had the time. Si tuviera el tiempo. Okay, si tengo el tiempo, te ayudaría. Si tuviera el tiempo, te ayudaría. I would. I would travel. Viajaría. But. I don't have the money, for example. Entonces hablamos de una situación hipotética. Nada más ahí quizás lo que hay que aprender es qué significa ese would. Ese would significa, eh, bueno, depende del verbo que usted utilice. Por ejemplo, would be es la forma base del verbo to be. Uh -huh. Entonces sería, daría, el verbo dar, daría. Eh, aquí con el verbo comprar, compraría. Eh, con el verbo like, 
would like que sería de querría o gustaría pues, prácticamente lo mismo me gustaría o yo querría hacer tal cosa en el presente del futuro recuerda que es para expresar un deseo también eh, vamos a ver qué más teníamos por aquí atrás okay. sí, esto esto es los gusta que estábamos hablando deseos en el presente o en el futuro me gustaría un descanso un deseo en el futuro me gustaría estudiar o tomar unas clases de italiano también teníamos offers offers cuando son ofrecimientos eh, por ejemplo cuando usted llega a un lugar y usualmente este wood eh, lo utilizamos para sonar bien formal bastante de una manera educada ¿Te gustaría tomar té, por ejemplo? Would you like some tea? ¿O te gustaría tomar té? También lo puedo utilizar para hacer una request. Claro que aquí ya son preguntas. Aquí hacemos un ofrecimiento con una pregunta. Eh, would you like eh, a glass of water? ¿Te gustaría un vaso de agua? Y te, hoy veíamos las posibles respuestas. Yes. I would, que son respuestas cortas, que son eh, preguntas de yes, no question. Una yes, no question es una pregunta que la respondo con un sí o con un no. No, I would. Pero aparte de eso, veíamos otras posibilidades. Por ejemplo, yes, I, ahí está el would contractado, I like to. Yes, o puede ser un love también acá. Me encantaría. Me gustaría, me encantaría. Vamos a decir un no thanks también. O oh, un no I wouldn't. Eso sería en cuanto a offers. También tenemos requests, que son solicitudes o peticiones. Me gustaría... Bueno, esto más bien... Eh... <risa> Sería algo así. Would you write an essay for me? ¿Escribirías un ensayo para mí? <ríe> Esa es una petición. Would you try today? ¿Manejarías hoy? Would you come, vendrías, pero voy a venir, would you come with her, please? Podría venir con ella. Entonces tenemos bastantes usos. Tenemos para expresar deseos en el presente o en el futuro. También para hablar de offers, para un ofrecimiento. Y siempre, y se escucha más eh, polite o más formal que utilizar can o Could también okay. es bastante, could es formal, pero digamos que con would es más formal, más educado. No, porque también puedo utilizar could. También tenemos las requests para hacer peticiones. Recuerden, una petición es que usted va a pedir algo. Y acá usted ofrece hacer algo por alguien. Y teníamos finalmente... Bueno, las hipótesis. Sería muy caro eh, quedarse en un hotel. Te daría un aventón, pero mi esposa tiene el carro hoy. También con condiciones, te daría... La llamaría si tuviera su número o si lo pudiera encontrar. O si yo tuviera el dinero, compraría un carro. Básicamente, ese es el uso de, de Wood. Esos son algunos de los usos de Wood. En... Quizás esto quizás ya sería verlo más en otro tema, más así como exactamente ese tema. Porque ahorita la parte que sí hemos cubierto y que sí nos interesa sería esa, offers, requests, y esa, ¿verdad? general desires. Igual que would like también para hablar de preferencias, que básicamente es lo que hemos estado haciendo en, con los ejercicios que hemos practicado. No sé, um, bueno. 
Con respecto a las negativas, no sé si tiene dudas ahí en las negativas. Yo creo que ya está un poquito más despejado. Ajá, solamente lo que tiene que tener en mente es, es esta estructura. Si sí, eh, necesitamos como grabarnos esas estructuras. El subject, plus word, plus the verb. Ahí tenemos la estructura, la afirmativa. Subject plus word. Would not plus verb. Básicamente esa es la estructura. I would like, I would dance, I would eat. Y acá, I would not dance, I would not eat. I would dance. Negativa, solamente agrego el no, pero I would not dance. Subo. Ahí está. Bueno, no se ve cortado todavía. Ahí está. Y para las preguntas, solamente recuerde que hacemos lo mismo, invertimos como en eh, presente. Would. Después ubicamos el subject prano, would you. Y después viene el verbo, would you like. Él agrega lo que quiere agregar. Bueno, vamos cambiando ahí con los pronombres. Eh, por ejemplo, would she like a glass of water, por ejemplo? Would uh, they like? ¿Le gustaría a ellos tal cosa? Nada más vamos invirtiendo. Y en el caso de las double edge questions, porque veíamos hay unas double edge questions. Oh. What? Uh, where? Lo único que vamos a hacer acá es agregar la double edge question. Después seguimos la estructura de una yes no question. What would you like? ¿Qué te gustaría? Pero como estas ya son information questions, aquí ya no vamos a tener un sí, sino que este, más bien una respuesta más amplia. ¿Qué te gustaría? Ah, I'd like a hamburger. I like a cup of tea. I like a pizza. Y podemos poner otro ejemplo ahí con una double H de where. Where would you go? ¿A dónde irías? Podría ser una situación hipotética. Como lo veíamos este día. Que, bueno, me parece que, ¿qué harías si fueras pobre? Algo así, parece que decía la pregunta. Ajá, where would you go if you were poor? Por ejemplo, podríamos decir. Y aquí lo podríamos responder con una if yes. Where would you go if you were for some? Y podríamos ponerla así, con una condición if I were. Una sujeto. If I were poor, I would go to. Uh, <laughs> y ahí ya le van agregando lo que más andería. Entonces son básicamente las estructuras que, hemos, que podemos utilizar con, con Wood. Eh, probablemente más adelante ustedes eh, se introduzcan un poco más en algunos usos, como el caso de esos condicionales. Ok, pero mientras tanto creo que sí es, es bastante un poquito lo que hemos estudiado pero les, les puede ayudar más adelante. Lo que es importante es que usted aprenda algo, que se lleve algo que le pueda servir más adelante. Okay. La pagué porque tengo problemas ahí con, con el... Creo que el internet. No, está bien. <ríe> ok, Diana, muchas gracias. Entonces nos quedamos por acá. And no, no, no. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Nos vemos mañana. See you, Diana. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.